Titanic Stories The Musicians When the Titanic was sinking, eight musicians assembled in the first class lounge and played music. None of them survived and all were recognized for their heroism. It wasn't entirely sure as to why they stayed and continued playing, but it is believed that they did it to calm the other passengers during the moment of distress. The band members were not direct employees of the White Star Line, but they were contracted to play on the Titanic by the Liverpool firm of CW and FN Black. So they boarded the Titanic as second class passengers. In their contract, they were specifically told to know 352 songs from a book provided in case of requests by the passengers. It was actually not in their contract to stay behind and play music in case of any emergencies. But they still did exactly that and none of them survived. What went through their minds during that time will always be a mystery and a wonder. But whatever it was, it was deemed heroic in most of our eyes. The last song believed to be played by them was a hymn called Nearer to God to Thee. Though this can't be confirmed 100% as it was just accounts from people that survived. And the song was not in the 352 songs that they were required to know. It's not impossible that they must have known the tune by heart, but seeing as it was reported by both the British and the Americans, it made their reports to seem unlikely. Because the tunes for the same titled songs were said to be different for the Americans and the British. Either way, another account from a man that was believed to be one of the last people who got off the Titanic said that he wasn't entirely sure what the song title was. But as far as he remembered, the song was definitely something cheerful and surely not something to remind people that they were going to meet their imminent doom. Now, the eight musicians consisted of two groups, a trio and a quintet. They usually perform as separate groups until the night of the tragedy. So the eight musicians were Wallace Hartley, Percy Cornelius Taylor, John Wesley Woodward, John Frederick Preston Clark, Theodore Ronald Braley, Georges Alexander Krins, John Law Hume, and Roger Mary Bricou. Lastly, only three of them were found while the other five forever lost in the sea.